Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. So today's an exciting day for me because we'll be taking a look at a 4K monitor from Samsung to complete my 4K video editing setup. I finally built my first computer and it was actually easier than I expected. I did run into a small problem trying to figure out where the F panel cable went to, but besides that, everything went smoothly. The monitor I ended up choosing is the 2017 28-inch Samsung UH750 QLED 4K monitor. The monitor retails for $349, but if you're a student or a faculty, you can get a discount on the Samsung website by signing up on uni days. All you need is an active school email that can be verified. The monitor looks too big for my 42-inch desk with the computer on the side, so I should probably put the computer on the ground because it looks too crowded, but it works for me. I find the two-tone design of the monitor to be appealing. The base has a great plastic cover that matches what appears to be an aluminum strip that runs alongside the bottom of the monitor. So the base is very simple to install, it only takes a few seconds. There are only two screws that you need to tighten up. What I don't like about the monitor is that it is really wobbly, it's like a giant bobblehead. Samsung could have done a lot better than this. The good thing is that you have four mounting screws on the back so you can mount this monitor. The other downside of this monitor is the limited flexibility. It doesn't have high adjustment, rotation, or swivel, it only has tilt. This is by no means a deal breaker for me, but it would have been nice to see in this monitor. On the right side you will find 5 ports hidden by a plastic cover. There's two HDMI ports, a digital display port, the aux port, and the power port. I like the charging brick that it comes with. The prongs rotate 90 degrees, which gives you some flexibility when setting this monitor up. So navigating through the settings is really easy. There's a joystick on the bottom left. It also controls the monitor aux connection volume since it doesn't have speakers. The display has narrow bezels for the size of the screen and it looks amazing. You get a wide range of colors with intense vibrancy and great color accuracy, making this monitor perfect for photo and video editing. This monitor is using a TM panel which doesn't have the best viewing angles like you would get on an IPS screen and this won't be much of an issue unless you're constantly standing and sitting down. Samsung did add some lean back modes, a side mode, and standing mode, but you will have to keep switching between them in the settings. The advantage of having a TN panel is that you can get a response time of 1 millisecond compared to the lows you can get on an IPS of 4 milliseconds. The monitor also offers free sync, which matches your monitor refresh rate with that of your graphics card to reduce screen tearing in games. If your computer supports 4K gaming, then this monitor is perfect. The free sync and 1 millisecond response time makes this monitor a great deal if you're looking for a 4K monitor that isn't too expensive. I was previously editing and playing games on the 15 inch Spectre X360 and this is a huge upgrade for me. If you're coming from a 1080p monitor, you will find the Samsung 4K Quantum Dot LED monitor fantastic. It's really a beauty to look at. This TN panel is a newer version of the 28 inch TNs we have seen on previous models with similar specs. The big difference lies in the addition of the quantum dot backlighting which allows for the increased color vibrancy and higher contrast ratio of 1000 to 1. It also has a 10 bit interface which allows for the 1 billion colors. The screen has a maximum of 250 nits of brightness and the monitor stays quite bright even when set to 10%. I normally keep it at 14% at night and 45% during the day. And the monitor comes with an eye saver mode that reduces blue light to help reduce eye strain during extended use. And this is really helpful if you're ever working on a project late at night, like maybe writing an essay that you have to submit the next morning. While I was reading the reviews on the Samsung website, I noticed that a lot of people were complaining about not being able to get 4K at 60Hz with either HDMI port. So I thought it would be a nice idea to show those who are not familiar with the setup. So you need to use HDMI 2 or the display port to get 4K at 60Hz, since HDMI 1 only supports 4K at 30Hz max. Once you connect your desired cable, you can right click anywhere on the desktop screen and then select display settings. Then go to the bottom and select advanced display settings. After that, select display adapter properties. In the new pop-up window, go to the section that says monitor. And here's where you can select your screen refresh rate. You can now select 60 Hertz. And now you can go ahead and check in the information panel and it will show 60 Hertz instead of 30 Hertz. You will also see the difference because your mouse cursor will feel much smoother when you're moving it around. And you can do this with any monitor, so hopefully this helps some of you out there. So this monitor is rich in features. You get picture by picture and picture in picture to display two videos or images from two different sources. Of course, it will reduce the screen size on your monitor, but will maximize productivity when you don't have a secondary screen. But even if you don't end up using the features, the large screen allows for a fluent multitasking experience. So I personally prefer IPS monitors, but I'm really happy that I stumbled on the Quantum Dot monitor from Samsung. It is a great monitor for the price and I highly recommend you check it out. I will leave the link in the description so you can see the most up-to-date price. 
Alright, so that concludes today's review. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like if you found the video helpful. Subscribe for more tech related videos and I will talk to you on the next one.